So this is uh, day 14 of my reef tank setup. And as you can tell, here's a little chart that I've been uh, keeping my uh, test results uh, in. And uh, it looks like my cycling has completed um, as of, I would say, day 13 yesterday. Uh, definitely this morning, uh, day 14. Uh, you can see the red line here is the ammonia um, and it uh, it spiked up but not a ton it went up to about um, two at, at the max two parts per million that doesn't seem like a lot but i mean that's with a uh, a shrimp uh, festering in the tank and a little bit of uh, fish food also decaying inside of the tank but uh, definitely had the red line ammonia spike uh, up for the first seven days. Um, then started reducing there. It really started reducing after like six days, you can see here. Um, the green line is the nitrite, um, and that immediately started going up. So that told me that, uh, that the bacteria was starting to uh, form and multiply within the, uh, the aquarium. Um, and started to reduce the uh, ammonia. And then the, uh, the blue or purple line there is uh, the nitrate, uh, the final stage of the cycle here, or, well, not really final, but at least for what I'm testing. And at day five, you can see that that uh, purple line started to spike up um, and continued all the way up until it leveled off at about 20, which is probably the, um, the maximum for Oops, sorry about that. Um, the maximum for the, the test kit. And I have the API master test kit, but I don't know why it would level out like that for, you know, five days, it looks like. Um, but whatever it did, and then uh, you can see on day 13 and 14, it started dropping there. That's because uh, at the end of the day on day 13, which was yesterday, I did like a 30% water uh, change. So that's back down to five parts per million. Perfect for starting to introduce stuff in there if I wanted to. And you can see that uh, starting at day 12 uh, and for the last three days, uh, nitrite and ammonia have dropped to zero as of uh, today, day 14. So let's jump over here to the tank. So I'm getting ready to later on today head to the fish store and see what I can uh, see what I can pick up. Uh, not sure exactly what I'm going to get. I don't think I'm going to introduce fish right away. Um, you know, because I want to give it a little bit of time. It's only been two weeks since the setup. Um, I want to let everything kind of stabilize, but I will get some, uh, some corals, some hardier cor corals, um, you know, beginner stuff, because really what I'm looking to do here is just create a nice uh, beginner tank, you know, and, and learn the process here. So I'm not going all out with, you know, really expensive, uh, what do you call it? SPS corals. Um, just going to do some beginner stuff, you know, mushrooms and polyps and things like that. And, you know, um, throw in a, a clownfish or two. Um, and that's about it for a 10 gallon tank. I wouldn't go more than two tiny clownfish. So that's my update so far. Um, and you know what? With my cycle here, I never got any kind of uh, any kind of uh, algae or anything growing. Um, there are a few things on the rocks. You can see maybe coming off of this live rock. There's little fuzzy things here on the rock. It's probably hard to see, but um, there's little things growing around there. And I, and I know they're not they're not part of the uh, decaying shrimp or anything like that or some of the decaying food, which I actually still have some decaying food here. You can see those little fuzzy balls um, over on this side of the tank, which is probably the deadest part of the tank. Not that it is, isn't got some flow, but uh, the flow generally comes across the tank here and then comes back around this way. And this is kind of the, the low side of the flow. So the food's collected out into this side. And started to decay there. Um, so that's day 14 
of my reef tank. And that's how long it took me to cycle a tank from beginning to end two weeks. And uh, that's with live sand, uh, dry rock, and one piece of highly cured uh, live rock. I, I wouldn't even want, I almost call it semi live rock because it was so cured there really wasn't too much on it. Um, I don't know if it helped or not. Um, but did a shrimp for a couple days. I, I took the shrimp out because it was actually a huge shrimp, if you recall from uh, maybe one of my first videos. I mean, that thing was like four inches long. Um, so I took it out and let the pus and goop off of it um, stay in the tank because it kind of just fell off and went all over the place. And again, some of the food um, for fish food that helped uh, create the uh, ammonia. So uh, the next update will be, hopefully, have something in here for you. Bye. Till then.